<laughs> I'll take it. Don't know if I believe it, but I'll take it. Yeah, it's Nora, my friend made my account. <laughs> no measures. Are you American or Australian? It's funny either way. You miss being really popular to prefer it being more chill now. I miss the popularity because like I miss it and I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I mean, I'm tipping more on the not missing it because it was really affecting my mental health. Um, like lack of privacy, the pressure, lots of people being mean because you have lots of people watching you like that really takes a toll and takes a chunk out of you. Um, but you'd be lying if you didn't say that you, if you, if you didn't miss it at all, because obviously it's nice to have like to be popular and it's good financially. Obviously you followed me along the way that, that, that are refining me now. Um, Unfo uh, unfollowed me along the way, not because like, they didn't like me or something, but probably just because I didn't, I wasn't as rel uh, relatable to them anymore. So that's fine. I totally understand because I've unfollowed a lot of people too, um, and it's never anything personal. I had an influencer message me and ask why um, I unfollowed her, and I was like, oh my gosh, first of all, I didn't even know you would, didn't even realize, I didn't think you would notice. Like, I didn't say that, but I was like, it's literally nothing personal. I just have a really curated feed where I only want to see the people's people's posts that I like. I don't know how, how I worded it, but I felt really bad. But I was like, no, it's, of course it's not you personally. I just, I, I'm very particular with what I see online. Like I want to create a safe space for my own mental health, you know? Not that that person was creating a bad space, but I basically just follow, like, follow like, my friends and family on um TikTok, no, no, TikTok, oh, Instagram now, younger and shinier, yeah. What's my life like? So it's pretty chill, to be honest. Got my own business with Lounge Face, just moved into our new place. Got my lovely fiance. I, I hate saying fiance, it sounds cringy to me. But Reese, who's outside, I won't show him now because he's right there and he, probably, and he doesn't know that it's being filmed, so. I'll give him privacy. Um, I've got little memes. Oh, wait, she's not even in the frame anymore. Little angel. Oh, my God, look how cute she looks. I've got a little squished up eye. That is so cute. I'm just living life, living rurally in the countryside. <laughs> just chill vibes, chill vibes all around. Oh my God, that is so <laughs> cute. Love it. Love the timing. Thank you, Will. Thank you for opening up. Oh, it's not even opening up. I, that's just the, the, the truth. It's probably hard. It would have been harder for me to talk about that when it was happening because it's like it, you take such a big ego. But it, uh, it's a huge hit to your ego. Like I remember crying about it sometimes. Like I literally have a video that I filmed. One day, one day I will upload it where I had a call with my manager. This was like years ago. And I was still so popular back then, which is just funny in hindsight. Um, and it was this like graph showing like how my followers had changed. I must've been losing followers or something, which is bound to happen once you reach a certain size and you've been on a platform for a certain amount of time. And um, anyway, it just triggered something in me. I think I must've already been aware that things were changing. And I was like, I was filming a vlog that day. So I was like, <laughs> sort of crying. I was like, I feel like my content is the best it's ever been. Like, I feel like I'm more myself than I've ever been. And like, if you want to follow me at any time, like the whole journey I've been online, like now is the time to do it. But like, you know, less people are watching. I don't know how I said it, it wasn't as corny as that, but it was basically that. It's like, it's just the biggest risk you take when you join an online, when you become popular online at a young age is that like, it's so easy to let your self-worth be tied up in that. Especially when I was already kind of like insecure. Then you have all these people saying, you're amazing. I love you so much. This and that. And it's like, oh, wow, maybe I'm not so bad then. <laughs> and then that changes and you're like, oh, the insecurities come creeping back in. But then as you get older, you just learn that it's like, it's just life. It's absolutely just life. People come and go. People's interests change. It is what it is. There's nothing about you personally. Like even Instagram has been getting quieter recently. And Instagram used to always be like my main platform. And I was like, I guess maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm less interesting for people now. And then I come over to TikTok and it's like all my videos are popping up again and all these new people that haven't seen me in ages are being shown my videos. And it's like back, 
like when I started my um, social media stuff again, it's like, so it's not just me, it's just the algorithm or whatever. It's like, well, it's a bit of everything, but that's what I kind of worry um, for like young influencers or ones that just go nuts really quickly. Cause I'm like, I hope someone's, I hope you've got a good support system around you. I hope you have a good head on your shoulders, good family support or a really good therapist. <laughs> Cause you really need to like make sure your self-worth is um, really, I mean, as a teenager, which is the age most of them become popular, like how can you really be um, all that confident? I don't know. Do I still make income off social media? Yes. Does Reese work in the rural area?